That is a wrap, family. We are finished arms. We stayed at home today. We've been to Raw all week, but yeah, we only trained arms. So literally I can deal with like the cable stack. And then we also have like the dumbbells and stuff like that. So yeah, we banged it out the way. Pretty much superset rope push downs with like hammer curls and dumbbell curls, dips and all that jazz. Very, very simple. And speaking of training, let's get this out of the way. If you watched my last video, you know I've been having a sale on my coaching services. Well, I am actually extending that for a few more days. So if you want to join the team, hit up the first link in the description and we will absolutely smash it together. So that is that out the way. Now let's get to the video. So yes, what I do to stay shredded, my sort of daily routine, okay? The first thing being, of course, I lift weights or I exercise. I lift weights and I do cardio, so a combination of the two. And I already know someone out there is gonna say, Scott, you're not shredded. Look, I know, okay? I might not be shredded, but I am definitely lean. Only Coach Greg's eagle eye can decide what body fat I am. So yeah, go send him this video and let's see if he can do like a video on me to like absolutely disown me saying that I'm not like low body fat percentage i'm eight point something percent look eight point something percent this is what eights looks like okay just to give you an idea i'm lean it's hard to be five percent so stop thinking that that is that so work out and do your cardio now oh my god i look like absolute shit so yes there is some serious male grooming that needs to be done so you know what <laughs> You know, we keep it full on raw potato mode here. I have trusted Mama Murray. She's actually got the job. No, <laughs> got the job to do my haircuts. Again, the barbers have been open for so long, but I mean, she does a good job. And as long as I can just see two meters out in front of me and actually not crash my car, then I'm fine. And just like that, a fresh hairdo and clean shave. So yeah, let's move on to the main part of this video. What I eat in a day to stay lean and the main... Hey, Scott. <laughs> How are we doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> the main thing I'm gonna focus on in this video is to actually make every single meal that I have a new recipe for you to try out, okay? So at least you're gonna gain some sort of value. And speaking of value, we're at super value. So yeah, although I have most ingredients at home, there are, of course, still a few little snagglers we have to pick up. And the recipe in question that we're gonna make is a healthy chicken curry. And there we go, the goods have been acquired, all the ingredients ready to go. So are you ready for this absolutely anabolic curry recipe of peace? Well, here we go. So yes, before we dive into it, let me go over all the ingredients you're gonna need. So we have some frozen peas, we have some red lentils, then of course we have our chicken. And then we have some chopped tomatoes, some reduced fat coconut milk, some chickpeas, some vegetable or chicken stock, some cumin, some garam masala, some garlic and an onion. So a lot of ingredients, but they should be readily available in most shops. So yes, without further ado, let's finally get making this bad boy up. And there's only one thing for that, and that is gonna be some sexy B-roll and the voiceover in 3, 2, 1. <clears throat> Welcome back to another episode of Scott Butcher's Up the Voiceover, Mr. One Take Kid checking in. Okay, let's try bring a bit of stupidity and energy to this video while also providing value. So yes, this recipe is honestly super, super easy. Okay, so you're gonna drain off the chickpeas and then you're literally, that is it. All you have to do to sort of prep it and just shove everything into like a massive, this is like a paella. And so you put the chickpeas in, you put all the vegetables, the frozen peas, except for the lentils, okay? You pop those in afterwards because you want to let these sort of sizzle up. So yes, the coconut milk and the uh, tomato sauce on the chicken. So all of that goes in and you let that sort of simmer. I'd say it was probably about 10 minutes um, until the chicken starts to cook nicely. Okay, then what you want to do is get your um, stock cube and sort of dissolve that in boiling water, okay? Because that's what's going to add bulk and volume to the meal when you add in the lentils, which you do now, okay? So you add in the lentils on top and you stir it in. And then the keys here to make it a full-on curry is, of course, the graham masala and the cumin you can actually buy like pre-made curry powder i'm not sure if it would taste as good graham masala is absolutely lethal okay but yeah from there you pour in the stock and if you want to make it super voluminous you'll let it simmer for like 20 to 30 minutes and let the lentils puff up and that is a wrap and there we go curry fam seriously i have outdone myself of course we're still eating out of bowls the size of our head hella volume and a super macro friendly curry again all the macros on the description will be on the site link down below but yes please give it a go and tag me in your ig stories you will not be disappointed if you like chicken curry all the lentils like swell up 
perfect. But yes, while I'm here, the second sort of thing that I do to stay lean and that a habit of lean people is that we track our macros and our calories, but we also stay flexible. So Stuart et al. 2002 showed that rigid dieting strategies are actually associated with eating disorder symptoms and higher BMIs compared to flexible ones, okay? So if you want to make this like a sustainable lifestyle, track your calories, yes, but still allow for good foods like this, hit your macros and allow like little treats in here and there. So yeah, that is recipe number one, bang out the way. And if you're bulking much like I am, we're gonna add some whole wheat pita breads, more carbs and calories, probably like fill up two of those, heat them up, and that is your meal. So yeah, I'm gonna smash this down and then I need to actually take you somewhere. Okay, here we go, a little detour. We are in Stelorgoin, of all places. Where's the sign? There, because there are three little quick things I've been meaning to do. So firstly, a complete impulse buy, but if you're an OG, you know exactly what we're gonna pick up. And no, it does not involve the motherland numero uno. There is a little there, but we are actually interested in the Dublin Meat Company. That's right, we're gonna do a little mini stock up on the skinny sauces. So you know, this one is my favorite, and then salted caramel. They only actually have three flavors, so they have the chocolate one, but yeah, these two are the best ones. The goods have been acquired. I mean, how exciting is life at the moment? Then the next thing I've been meaning to do, the main reason I'm here is a trip to the motherland numero say <laughs> because for my cable stack i want to get like little stickers because when i'm using both sides it's sort of hard to see what pins to use so yeah these are the only ones they seem to have again i've asked your man so i don't know i'm not gonna ruin it and put letters on them and i'm definitely i was gonna buy these but i'm definitely not gonna do those so that was a bit of a fail nothing can ever go right you know that but a trip to deals cannot be wasted so i'm just gonna pick something up you know what you can never have enough chargers so we're just gonna pick up another one for the kitchen again they have one meter ones but there is like a 1.5 there we go a 1.5 meter that's a lot better they don't even have cereal oh yeah they do they have like crunchy nuts but those are definitely not macro friendly The goods have been acquired and the exciting life continues. And another reason we are here is to go to the motherland numero due because there is an ingredient that both super value and little don't have that of course Tesco's does. So in we go. I hope to God they have it. Normally they do. Oh dear, no, please no. Of course people, they don't have it. I want to cauliflower rice, which they normally do have, but today they don't. So I am super, super dedicated to showing you this recipe and to this YouTube game. So you know what? That's right, we have come to another Tesco's, the one in Ballybrack, and I am 99.9% .9 sure that they will have it, but oh my god, guys. Can you smell that? I smell a storm. <laughs> Here we go, moment of truth. Oh no, 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 please. Oh my god, thank god for that, okay, there we go. Cauliflower rice, I knew they'd have it. And you know what, while I'm here, I think I'll go for some squash. So yeah, normally I go for like summer fruits or the apple and strawberry, but I am feeling frisky today, so I think I'm gonna go for some orange. The Great success! Cauliflower rice, orange squash, skinny syrup one, skinny syrup two, and a phone charger. Overall, it has been a very good day so far, but yes. Okay, so the third thing actually I want to touch on, uh, seeing as we did buy some sort of sugar-free liquids, is that I don't drink my calories or like laden things in sauces, okay? There's plenty of evidence out there by like DeGraff 2012 and like Demillion Mattis 2000, for example, showing that liquid calories are considered less satiating than solid ones and have actually been proven to promote a positive energy balance while minimizing satiety so yes if you want to stay shredded or a habit of lean people is usually they won't drink their calories so we go for like sugar free alternatives so that is my third little point but now let's get making this whopper recipe thank god we managed to find it and before we start, let me just give a massive shout out to Mr. Will Tennyson. This is actually his recipe and I have tried it once before and it came out a disaster. So I'm hoping it's gonna come out better. But yeah, so we have some turkey mince, then we have some reduced fat cheddar cheese, an egg, some chopped tomatoes, some bread crumbs, which we actually made ourselves, just blended up some bread, and then our cauliflower rice. So what we're gonna do is make these arancini, famiglia italiana, dove siamo? Protein packed arancini, which are essentially just rice balls, okay? So without further ado, I really hope I don't butcher this. It's not actually that hard, but I don't even know why I butchered it the first time. But here we go, cue the sexy B-roll and the voiceover in 3, 2, 1. Babbity boopy? Che cosa? 
Okay, firstly, I forgot to say the macros, the ingredients, the description and everything will be linked down below. So go check it out. But the first thing you're going to do to make these balls <laughs> is preheat a pan with nonstick cooking spray boop, 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 and get cooking the turkey mince. Okay, so of course you season it with your staples. So garlic salt is my goat. My goat? <laughs> no, okay. But anyway, then you're going to heat up another pan and pour the tomato passata in there. Um, we did add some chilliness just for an extra bit of a kick okay so yeah when the turkey is starting to uh, become pretty cooked you can see it's not fully cooked there you're going to add in your cauliflower uh, rice and then fully cook the turkey okay the cauliflower rice is frozen as well so you sort of need to let that defrost so you cook that up and then the next thing you do is going to just add like two tablespoons of the warm passata into the cauliflower mix just to give it a bit of tomatoey taste because cauliflower rice isn't you know it doesn't taste too much you could probably add things like oregano and stuff like that if you wanted to add more flavor but yes while that sort of simmers up you add a egg into a bowl whisk it up because that's going to be sort of our base now this is sort of the key pro tip you turn off the oven and then you add your cheese the oven the pan or the uh, the hob and you add in your cheese and you let it sit and let all the cheese melt okay uh, because that's what's going to hold it together then you go from pan to egg mix to breadcrumb and yeah that pretty much forms the balls you can see the breadcrumbs stick on nicely and then you pop that in the oven and look at this they come out super crispy beautiful goodbye oh my god family we absolutely nailed it respect those palle di riso <laughs> that means rice balls in italian but oh my days these have come out perfectly and then we have our nice little sort of tomato passata which you're just gonna dip them on and eat them with so yes as always if you try them out please let me know you will not be disappointed again you can do different meats and everything like that but while i'm here i do want to touch on another sort of habit of lean people is that we eat for volume so that we don't want to overeat so lantner 2009 actually showed that high volume foods decreased hunger desire to eat excitement about eating desire for dessert and loss of control over eating compared to low volume foods so yeah you'll often see like a lot of fitness people approach making their meals with like low calorie density foods high in volume so you stay full and don't want to completely go over your caloric intake anyway that's the recipe number two banged out the way so again if you try it out please let me know how you like it in the comments but i mean look at it respect it it's a thing of beauty oh we are back in the hermit room as per usual all on my own but i thought i would also add something very very quickly is that another habit of like lean people in particular that i do as well is that we don't snack much usually we stick with like whole big meals okay so for example koopman 2004 showed that when added to a libidum intake between meals snacks represent an effective strategy to increase calories and ultimately lead to weight gain okay with another study by kolova 2017 where you can see in the graph there is a strong correlation with increased snacking and meal frequency and weight gain so yeah that is a habit that i sort of implement and a lot of people who are lean will too so that is another little thing banged out the way now let's get to your dinner and i have a whopper surprise for you because we are going to be having a nando's and yes everyone is looking at me very strangely but we're not going to be eating in the restaurant we're going to make a healthy sort of home edition so yes i did literally just drive to Dunleary just to get this what like five second clip so the least I can do is maybe just walk down to the harbor and show you some scenes and boosh here we go we are at the pier so yes for those unaware the pier is literally just all the way around there and then there's another side over that side but there is host and I've said it before but if I lived here literally my steps would go through the roof and that is another point or habit of lean people is that they track their neat and they achieve a certain amount of steps so as per Levine 2002 you can see that neat can vary between two people of a similar size by 2,000 calories so you have the person who's chair bound only burning 300 calories then you have the strenuous work guy burning 2300 okay and the data supports just how much a pivotal role knee plays in the regulation of human energy expenditure and body weight regulation so yeah that's another habit that i implement and most lean people will do as well so yeah try to hit like 8 to 12 000 steps per day and you should be good but for now we're gonna bang out a few more steps and finally cue some sexy b-roll and the voiceover for some homemade nandos in three two uno Okay, so for this, you're going to need mushy peas, tomatoes, chicken legs or thighs because they are juicier, a sweet potato, some peri-peri sauce and some sweet corn, of course, some seasonings too. Okay, so yeah, you're going to skin your legs. You can, I'm not, butchered, butchered. <laughs> you can honestly use chicken breast if you wanted to be leaner, but I don't know, I wanted a bit of juiciness. So yeah, 
your skin though is pretty lean nonetheless and then you add your peri peri sauce and your seasonings okay then in the meantime you're gonna just uh prick your potato otherwise it'll explode wrap it in um paper towel and put that in the microwave it takes quite a long time to be honest okay so while that's in the microwave you spray up a non-stick cooking pan boop, 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 and you're starting to cook your chicken okay so you put those in again sort of sear them and then turn it down top it with the tomato sauce and to add that tomato flavor and then yeah this is pretty easy everything else is just microwave okay so you take the mushy peas you put them in a bowl you take <laughs> the sweet corn put it in a bowl and then pop those in the microwave when the potato is finished okay so super super easy actually this is like a hella convenient recipe uh, and then when that's done you just prep up everything so you cut the sweet potato down and serve it very nicely like so you can garnish that again with garlic salt my favorite <laughs> and then yeah that's it so i don't know what else to say look at the chicken came out really good there um yeah you could probably use things like steak and stuff for the same mix but i don't know comment your favorite um nando's order below but that is the final product look at it respect it goodbye <laughs> ah guys you know what if you haven't already please just pause the video go down to that little like button and just boop because oh my god i am hooking you up all these three brand new recipes for you to try out we really need to invent smell vision i mean if we had it your nose would be having an absolute orgy of peace but yes the nando's healthy recipe macros will be linked down below as per usual and you know what Okay, so there is one more meal left, of course, the macro capper, a new recipe, but seeing as I'm going to be pretty much making that up at like three in the morning because I have no life, I don't want to wake up the whole family. So you know what? Scott! Oh, Jesus, what do you want now, Scott? I'm relaxing, clocking up my steps at the harbour. I know, I'm sorry, but I've just made up this anabolic Nando's of peace for dinner, and there is one more meal and recipe I need to show my people, but realistically, I'm going to be sort of making that at three in the morning. So, okay, so let me guess, you want me to go pick you something up? Yeah, I mean, I don't think any shops are going to be open that late, and I do want to show them this recipe, so can you go to Tesco's? I know there's a Tesco's in Dunleary. Tesco's? I mean, that's miles away. I'm going to have to get even more steps now. Look, Scott, I promised them new recipes, and this one is a Whopper. You even know it yourself. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, if you had just said that before, I would have gone. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so here we go. Familia Italiana, dove siamo? But this recipe is gonna be a calzone, okay? Essentially, it's like a pizza, but folded over a staple Italian meal. You can have it sweet or savory, and I remember growing up, I used to always have like a Nutella calzone, okay? So, we are gonna make up a macro-friendly sort of chocolate, high-protein calzone. And keeping with the Italian team, we're not gonna go for Nutella, we're gonna go for the pan di stelle spread. I told you in my vanilla cake recipe that I would use it for a recipe in the future, so I think it's time. Anyway, the next thing you're gonna need is gonna be some marshmallows. So you can go for some mini ones or large ones. It really doesn't matter. Anyway, next, instead of a pizza base, we're actually gonna use a wrap. So they do have these like thicker style wraps. You can see them there, whole wheat ones. So we're gonna pick up a pack of those. Of course, if you don't have access to those, you can use a regular wrap or you can actually go for the pizza base. Then seeing as this is gonna be high protein, we are gonna use a protein powder, but obviously Tesco's don't have whey protein. So go click the first link down below, bulk powders. Boop, 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 boop. And then the final thing you're gonna need is some high protein yogurt. So these are actually pretty good for 17 grams of protein or Skyr, but you know we have that at home from Little. It's a staple ingredient. And there we go, family. That is a wrap, quite literally. Do you get it? <laughs> I'm so funny right now. Okay, so yes, let's flash forward to the future. Hopefully I don't wake up the whole family making this, but it will be worth it. So cue the sexy B-roll and the voiceover. In tre, due, uno. 3.28 am okay firstly guys if you have come this far in the video you clearly somewhat like my content and thank you very much but please just go down below and just give it a like subscribe to the channel a lot of you say that this channel is underrated i definitely do not think so i mean i'm just an absolute idiot but if you want to see the channel grow just hit the like button and the subscribe button it would really mean a lot so here we go we're gonna put the pandistelle spread the yogurt and then the marshmallows on one side only of the pizza base or the wrap whatever you decide to go for 
okay one side only you'll see why because the calzone is technically a folded over pizza but yeah then you're going to preheat a pan with non-stick cooking spray boop, 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 and pop the whole base into the pan and fold it over okay you're, now you're going to have to hold it down you see the way i'm holding it down like that maybe for the first like two or three minutes to let the marshmallows sort of melt and get sticky so that starts holding it down but oh my god yeah look at that i mean <laughs> okay so yeah then you just pretty much leave it there until the marshmallows fully melt then we're not done yet because we're going to make a nice little topping so we just make like a protein sort of icing or i don't know mush what do you call this protein mousse <laughs> and then you just cover that almost as your nutella and that is literally your high protein calzone finito molto bene and just like that, we are back in the hermit room the next day and I'm keeping it 100% real with you. I am bloody exhausted. I got like one hour and 17 minutes of sleep yesterday. Literally, the video took all day. But yes, hopefully you gained a little insight as to these little sort of hacks that lean people do and what I do to stay lean, not shredded. I know Greg just said, if you're watching this, you would absolutely butcher me. So yeah, okay, I need to wrap up this video now. Goodbye, I am rambling. Hope you have a good day. I really do appreciate your support. See you all in the next video. Boop!